Good evening. It is uh, 4.13 on Christmas Eve, 2023, uh, December 24th, 2023. Because most people who are Christian are celebrating Christmas, the birth of the Messiah, I decided to do a word study on Messiah, the proper pronunciation of Messiah. And there are uh, a number of different words that, that sound like Messiah, and one I'm going to bring up at the end is hugely important, and um, I would not miss that. So either if you don't want to go through the whole study forward to the end, if you do that, you'll probably come back to the beginning and watch it if you, if you uh, understand what I, what I mean when I say that at the end. So let's get into it. What, what is this all about? This is the Hebrew, the Greek, and the English. And I'm going to turn myself around, and let's go to town. So, Hebrew is H4899. It's from Daniel 925. They pronounce it Mashiach or Moshiach. And I got an issue with that because of silent letters. Now, in the name of Ayah, that H is a silent letter. That H would probably be a silent letter. Otherwise, it would be Hayah. But it's just ayah, but it is spelled that way. So silent letters exist. So in this word, the silent letter would be this last one. So we would have mem, shin, and yod. And it would be m, s, i, m, s, i, m, s, i, m, s, i, m, s, i. You can get the sound of messiah out of that. But they chose in the Septuagint, to translate into the Greek word, which already existed, chrisma, chi, rho, iota, sigma, mu, alpha, chrisma, chrismas, probably where we get the word Christmas. In the New Testament, we have a G3323, where Jesus, because he chose Greek for the New Testament, being the Son of God, being God himself, and he chose to have them transliterate this word into this. Mu, Epsilon, Sigma, Sigma, Iota, Alpha, Sigma. Messiah. But we know that's a silent letter. Because if that S, that Sigma, were meant to be pronounced then the English version would say Messias. There would be an S on here. But that we know is a silent letter. So there is no English S at the end of Messiah. That's found in John 1.41 and John 4.25. And it translates to Christos. Okay? What else? Messias in the English spelling. M-E-S-S-I-A-S. -S -S -S. Silent S. Messiah. Mes Aya. Mes Aya. The name of Jesus. Ayasu bar Aya. The Mes Aya. Every knee shall bend, every tongue confess, in earth, on earth, under earth, that Jesus Christ is Ayahaba, Yod Vafe. Jesus is Yod Vafe. All across the Old Testament, Jesus is yod heh And his full and true name is Ayasu bar Ayah, Messiah, the ayah of Ayah. And in that pronunciation, his name does fulfill Philippians 2, 9 through 11, by glorifying the name of the Father, to the glory of God the Father. So when we take these silent letters out, we get the same sound. English? Messiah, Greek, Messiah, Hebrew, Messiah, 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 Messiah. Same, same, same. Transliteration gives you the same word sound. It's going to sound the same. It's going to create a new word in that language that you're transliterating to. We created Messiah. That word didn't exist in Greek. But they made it a word sounding exactly like that word so that they could have that sound. Why would Jesus, why would the apostles want to change from this 
which they grew up knowing from the Septuagint, into this, because they knew that Chrisma did not glorify Ayah, but Messiah does glorify Ayah. The apostles chose to use, at least twice, Messiah, because it gives glory to Ayah. This would give glory to Ayah in Hebrew if they didn't insist on pronouncing this silent letter. But when you remove all those silent letters, you get the same sound. Messiah, Messiah, Messiah. It's a new alphabet with the same sound, giving it a new word. In the old Septuagint, I hope you can see this, Chrisma, from the Septuagint, the L-I-I, the translation was they used the existing word in that language they were going to and had the same meaning and an old word was used. It had a new word sound, it had the same meaning, but it had the old word um, was being used, the Greek word. I don't know if I'm explaining that properly, but I think you understand what I'm saying. This is how the name Messiah, the title Messiah, glorifies Ayah. And this is the other pronunciation that you need to be aware of. Very important. Messiah. Are you saying that to this study? Are you saying that to the truth being revealed? Because when the truth is revealed, it's the Holy Spirit that reveals it. Not me, I'm just the mouth. The knowledge comes from the Holy Spirit. I didn't figure this out on my own. This came through the Spirit. Don't say meh, Saya. Don't say meh to the Holy Spirit. There's a curse in Malachi 2 too. I would strongly suggest you go read it. Woe unto ye priests and scribes, for you would not hear or did not hear and did not take it to heart to glorify my name, says the Lord. Messiah glorifies God, glorifies Ayah. I hope you take it seriously. Um, that's all I got. I want to keep it under 10 minutes. God bless. Take care. To those of you that celebrate Christmas, I think you might want to reconsider some of that. Um, but we have grace. Who am I to tell you what, what you should and shouldn't do? I, I'm not here to correct somebody else's servant. Um, I'm just here to tell you what I know to be true. God bless and take care.